All right, so today we're gonna to be kicking off our series on rocks and minerals in Pennsylvania, and we're gonna be starting with iron pyrite. Um, pyrite forms in an oxygenless environment uh, in a reaction between sulfur and iron. Chemical makeup is FES2. It's about 46% iron, 54% sulfur, if I remember right. Um, it occurs a lot in Pennsylvania with plant material, so a lot of your coals and other carbonaceous matter. Um, if we look here, uh, we're in a Burgoon sandstone, which is part of the Mississippian formation. Uh, today we're pretty high up, we're in elevation about 2100 feet. Um, but here you can see some of your carbonaceous plant material and then your iron pyrite occurring with it. Down here, a piece of iron pyrite. Up on this rock as well. Now, iron pyrite will react with uh, your oxygen, your water, to create sulfuric acid. And so, this is one of your main causes of acid mine drainage. Um, this area gets mined out. Oxygen and water get in there, reacts, creates sulfuric acid. Um, so you're lowering the pH of your water there, but this will also erode your iron, aluminum, and other metals out of your rock. This is that bright orange staining that you see um, outside of a lot of mines in a lot of areas in Pennsylvania. Here's a spot here. This was all, all eroded out your pyrite see how easily that falls apart come down here to another piece you can see some of your coley material here and then all these pockets rayed out um, by the sulfuric acid created by your pyrite another coley area here um, so you can see same kind of runs maybe only a half inch thick little coal seam there but if we come over this side, see here, it's kind of a pattern. Got another piece here. It's plant fossil. There's the positive of it here, the negative of it here. So you can see how this runs up. Um, not sure, I can't remember offhand um, exactly which plant that was. I have a little bit better piece of it at the house. Um, try to get a picture up with the video as well. Uh, but this is where you're going to find a lot of your iron pyrite. Like I said, is going to be with a lot of your old plant material, a lot of your coley material. Uh, this is probably the most widely known sulfide in Pennsylvania. Uh, some other pieces down here. It's iron pyrite. And then you can see how fast it, it erodes the rocks. There's more of it there. But as a economic source, um, really no purpose to mine it. Um, if you were to mine it to get the iron, uh, you have to get the sulfur out because the sulfur can actually weaken the metal. Um, but you can mine iron pyrite to retrieve the sulfur, um, which I think is only done in maybe a couple spots in the world still. Elsewhere, um, also, with iron pyrites, even though this is known as fool's gold, in some areas this can actually contain gold. Um, the amounts vary. Um, this spot hadn't been checked, but I doubt that it contains any. Um, I said in other areas it does contain enough gold to prove to be economic, but not really much here in Pennsylvania. This has been kind of the quick introduction coverage of iron pyrite uh, if you guys want to see any other 
videos or have any questions, leave a comment. Um, not quite sure yet what our next mineral is going to be. Hopefully get another video together this week. Uh, kind of help everyone cope with the with the COVID and the quarantine. Um, but yeah, if you guys have any questions, please let me know. I'll do my best to get them answered. Um, if you have any mineral suggestions or video that you'd like to see, leave that information in the comments and try to get it together as fast as I can. So, again, I appreciate the support. Um, we're on Facebook, YouTube, and now Instagram at Abana Mines PA. So, like us on any of those or leave a comment. Appreciate everyone. Thank you.